Did you know that there is a whole military ties between the Philippines and Israel that few people know about? And we're not talking about the military aid that Israel provides to the Philippines. Sure, everyone knows about the fact that Israel supplies the Philippines with cutting-edge defense technology, and manned aerial vehicles, and sophisticated surveillance equipment. These tools bolster the Philippines' maritime security and overall defense capabilities. Israeli military training programs offer Filipino personnel instruction in counterinsurgency tactics, intelligence gathering, and special operations. This training leverages Israel's extensive experience in combating terrorism and dealing with unconventional threats. At first glance, the relationship between Israel and the Philippines might seem unusual for obvious reasons. The Philippines is an Asian country, and Israel is a Middle Eastern country. Each country faces its own internal or external threats. But beneath this surface lies a history of collaboration and shared interests that have brought these two nations together, especially in the area of military cooperation. The Philippines, facing internal security threats, and maritime disputes in the South China Sea and Sabah has found a valuable partner in Israel. Israel, with its cutting-edge military technology and expertise in intelligence, has become a key provider of support and training. This partnership dates back to the aftermath of World War II, when both nations sought to forge new alliances. The Philippines, newly independent and rebuilding its national identity, and Israel, newly established and facing immediate threats from neighboring countries found common ground. This shared post-war experience facilitated diplomatic engagement. The Philippines played a crucial role in providing refuge for Jewish refugees. Among the 10 members of ASEAN, the Philippines is the only country in this region with a special friendship with Israel. The strongest evidence of these special bonds is the fact that Filipinos are not required to get visas to enter Israel. This is said to be payment for Israel's debt of gratitude to the Philippines. During the time of President Manuel Quezon, the Philippines was the only country in Asia that welcomed Jews. Furthermore, the Philippines voted in favor of the United Nations General Assembly Resolution No. 181, recommending the establishment of an independent Jewish state. Therefore, the Philippines was instrumental in the birth of Israel as a free and independent state. The Philippines was among the 30 countries that supported the establishment of Israel and the only Asian country that voted for the resolution. The Philippines' vote was the tipping point that led to the victory of the Jewish people in the UN General Assembly. On May 11, 1949, the Philippines also voted in favor of UN Resolution 247 for the admission of Israel as a full-fledged member of the United Nations. The Philippines is the most reliable ally of Israel in the Far East and among the ASEAN member states. Indonesia, which is the largest Muslim country in the whole world, cannot be expected to vote in favor of Israel and against the Arab countries. The same is true with Malaysia and Brunei. Only the Philippines remains Israel's loyal ally in Southeast Asia. This alliance has a common bond in both countries' friendships with America and the EU, as well as the NATO member states. Embassies were opened in Manila and Tel Aviv in 1962. In 1997, the two countries signed a Memorandum of Understanding, institutionalizing the bilateral political dialogue between respective foreign ministries. The first bilateral agreement between the two countries was signed all the way back in August 1951. Since then, 13 other agreements have been inked, including those abolishing transit and visitors' visa, cultural, educational, and academic research. In 2020, Israel ranked 25th as the Philippines' trading partner. Out of 225 partners, 28th export market and 31st import supplier. In 2022, the total volume of trade in goods between the two countries was $600 million, about 30 billion pesos. By 2025, the trade between the Philippines and Israel is expected to 
go up to $2 billion. And this initial connection evolved into a multifaceted partnership, including diplomacy, as seen as the UN, when the Philippines voted in favor of Israel many times. And don't forget that the Philippines is one of Israel's biggest trading partners in the Asia-Pacific region. It's probably the only ASEAN country that trades with Israel. Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei, and Singapore don't have any diplomatic or commercial relationship with Israel. Because the vast majority of populations in these countries are Muslim, they side with Palestinians. The alliance between Israel and the Philippines stands a testament to how shared values and strategic interests can bridge geographical and cultural divides. For the Philippines, the alliance offers access to advanced military technology, training and intelligence sharing, enhancing its ability to address internal security challenges and maritime interests. The Philippines is probably the only country in Southeast Asia that enjoys military support from one of the world's greatest military powers, namely Israel, the United States, England, South Korea, and Australia. For Israel, the Philippines provides an opportunity to expand its diplomatic reach and forge strategic partnership in Southeast Asia, a region of growing economic and geopolitical importance. Southeast Asia's economies are expanding rapidly, with many countries in the region achieving impressive GDP growth rates. Nations such as Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, the Philippines are leading the way, driven by strong industrial output, burgeoning services sector, and increased consumer spending. The region is becoming a vital hub for international trade and investment. Southeast Asia's strategic location with access to major shipping routes makes it a crucial link in global supply chains. Foreign direct investment is flowing into the region, spurred by its growing market potential and favorable business environments. During the Cold War, both the Philippines and Israel faced their own challenges and opportunities. The Philippines, as a strong ally of the United States, was dealing with internal insurgencies backed by communist countries. At the same time, Israel was facing threats from Arab states, supported by the Soviet Union. This shared experience of dealing with external pressures brought the two countries closer together, as Israel's skills in unconventional warfare were useful to the Philippines. As the 21st century began, warfare changed with the rise of cyber attacks and other new threats. Both the Philippines and Israel saw the need to update their military forces. Israel's advanced technology like radar systems and drones helped improve the Philippines' maritime security. Their cooperation went beyond just providing equipment. It also involved shared knowledge and doing joint training, which built a strong bond between their military forces. The relationship between the Philippines and Israel goes beyond just military cooperation and includes important work in trade, agriculture, and cultural exchange. The economic ties between the two countries have grown stronger. Israeli businesses are finding new opportunities in the Philippines, and Philippine companies are expanding their activities in Israel. This trade includes a wide range of products and services, benefiting both nations and boosting their economies. Israel's skills in farming technology and water use have been very helpful for the Philippines. Israeli methods of irrigation, crop management, and sustainable market, and sustainable farming have been shared with Filipino farmers. This has led to a better farming results, improved food security, and help solve issues like water shortages in the Philippines. The partnership is also strengthened by various cultural exchanges. The Philippines-Israel alliance shows that distance and cultural differences don't have to stop countries from working together. By concentrating on common values and goals, nations can build strong partnerships. This alliance is a good example of how, even in a complicated and divided world, countries can still cooperate and understand each other. Why not widely publicize? These hidden military ties play a significant role in enhancing the Philippines' defense capabilities and contributing to regional security.